Yes, the boys of summer are back to work in Dunedin, and the voice of the Blue Jays, the handsome Buck Martinez, is back with his take on the offseason and to tell us what we should be looking for during spring training. And so it begins already. It's so good to see you, Buck. Good to be back, Dean. How are you? Good. We've just been chatting on the couch, and I love it. Okay, let's start, before we get into the team and what's okay. happening in terms of retooling, you said you yourself have changed your way of thinking when it comes to looking <laughs> at teams and the players within it. You've embraced the personalities. Absolutely. I, I, I think baseball has always been behind the curve as far as allowing the personalities to come out, especially here in Toronto and across Canada. When you really think about our fan base, it's a very young fan base, and they want personalities. They want the bat flip from Jose. They want Stroman's emotions. And just think about how the team really kind of took off when Jason Grilly came. Yeah. And after every out and every strikeout, there was a lot of personality. But Marcus Stroman has a terrific personality, and I think we have to embrace that. Not only is he a good player, but he's got personality. He's into the rap music the now. Music career. And, and there's a lot of good things going on with this team right now. And yeah. I think I'm an old school guy, obviously, because I'm old. <laughs> no, you're not. But the biggest thing is I think we have to embrace the personalities of these young stars and really take it to the young fan base. They're making it interesting. Absolutely. So you mentioned pitching. Let's take a look at that because they've definitely developed as a strong pitching team. Uh, if you look at the trifecta of Stroman, Sanchez, and Jay Hap. Okay, Hop, Hap, Hap. Hap. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that because they're definitely, I mean, it was all on Stroman for a while and then Sanchez came up and he became the consistent guy. What do you think? Is it now a really deep, super strong pitching mound? Absolutely. I think they have the best starting staff in the American League as far as depth. Jay won 20 games last year and he had kind of a balky shoulder the last five weeks of the season. So I expect him to be just as good. He spent his whole winter in Florida. He's been working out on his conditioning and he's really kind of turned into the star we thought he would be when he was first drafted by the Phillies and he is a guy he's very even keeled he has allowed himself to embrace pitching now he used to be worried about being perfect and now he understands you don't have to be perfect to be yeah. successful Mark Burley had a dramatic impact on his team a couple of years ago when he went out there and just threw the ball over the plate and and just lived with the consequences he helped Estrada, he helped Hap, mm. he helped Sanchez, and I think this pitching staff is strong enough to carry them to win the division in my mind. That being said, we don't want to jinx it. They've been super healthy, <laughs> but they're going to be part of the baseball, the World Baseball Classic. Right. I know you're going there, too. So are you worried that we may wear them out? No, I don't think so. I, you know, I managed Team USA in the first uh, a tournament in 2006, and that was our number one concern, was making sure that we returned the players to their team 100% healthy. Yeah. And we did a pretty good job of that. We were fortunate. But I think Jim Leland's the manager this year. He's going to take special care in taking care of these guys. There are rules within the tournament that dictate how many pitches a guy throws, how many off days he throws. When you have thrown 50 pitches, you have to have four off days. So I think the tournament is, I love the tournament. I think it's a great event. Okay. I think the players really embrace it. They like to go. It's just such an unknown. And I wish this tournament could take place during the All-Star break like hockey does during the sure. Olympics. Take the time off, play it during the summer when everybody's peak in shape, Makes and I think sense. it would be a great tournament. Yeah, that's a great tip. Okay, so with Encarnacion gone, everybody was heartbroken. Yep. How do you possibly fill that void? Will Kendris Morales and Steve Pierce be the guys to do it? Well, Kendris Morales is a good sign, and I know a lot of people don't know about him. He's not Edwin Encarnacion by any means. but. Kendris came out of Cuba at a young age, and he's always played in big ballparks. He played in Kansas City, he played in Anaheim, and he played in Seattle. They're not hitter's ballparks, and for the first time in his career, he's going to be in a hitter's ballpark at Rogers Center. He's a switch hitter with power. Okay. I think he's really going to fill that void. Sure. Uh, and individually, he might not make up the numbers that Edwin put up, but I think having him in that spot, knowing full well you got a switch hitter, that hits with power in a good ballpark. I think it's a good sign. It's so polarizing. You mentioned Bautista. Some people love him and the bat flip and everything that comes with that attitude. And other people are like, he needed to be humbled. What will we see in Bautista this season? Well, I hope we see a lot more bat flips. <laughs> Me too. I want a little swagger. You know what? I think it's a great uh, return for Jose. He loves Toronto. Obviously, he's had his most success here. The fans love him. And I think he's going to have a big year. He was hurt twice last year. You know, he hurt his toe in Philadelphia, then he hurt his knee here at Rogers Center. So I saw him last week. He's in great shape, and obviously he's motivated. And He's hungry. He is hungry. And, yeah. and he, there's one piece that's missing to his fine career, and that's a World Series championship. Right? And I think he wants to be part of that 
when they come back here to Toronto? They've been so close. Yeah. He can almost taste it, and I feel like he's going to help push them forward, as you do, as the voice. So Great beautifully. to see you. So good Thank to see you. you, Buck. The Jays position players report to Dunedin on Friday, and the first pregame season is happening. Of course, make sure you tune in February 25th against Atlanta. All 30 Blue Jays spring training games will be available on Sportsnet 590, the fan, or Sportsnet.ca. Now that is a home run. Thank you so much. Over to you, Kev. Uh, hey, this is for Buck. Oh. Uh, right. from, from Jenny Bauer. Uh, we got to do this for our fans uh, okay. every once in a while Jenny for our followers. Bauer wrote you. Uh, she met you, just wanted to take this picture, at an Adele concert. <laughs> Who knew Buck, uh, Buck Martinez hey! was an Adele fan? I you was at an Adele taste. concert last year. She swept the Grammys. Do you love a little hello from the other uh, side, Bauer? It was great, wasn't it? What a way to open up the Grammys singing hello, huh? Do you sing? No. In the car? <laughs> I sing? You've heard me talk. I have trouble talking. You I can't sing. You have the beautiful dulcet tones. I can hear you singing a little ballad in the car. No, not a chance. I never do that. So Adele fan. What about Buck. Beyonce? Oh, yeah. No, no. Buck. My wife come on, is come a on. big Adele fan. Hello. He's, he's come on. Come on, no, Bob. All right, Kev. Kev that's Lionel Richie. That's Lionel Richie, Kev. <laughs> Wrong hello. It's hello from the other side, Kev. Now, hello is me. Oh, come on, Kev. You got to get up to speed. Huh? <laughs> I wasn't at the concert with her. Uh, <laughs> always a pleasure to have Buck Martinez here.